uh, in quite short order. And then because Democrats do control or will control Congress, that does change everything. Uh, it changes the scope and the scale uh, of Biden's uh, ambitions here and his ability to fulfill so many of his campaign promises. It doesn't change everything because, of course, it is a 50-50 split in the Senate. That is a very, uh, very small majority. Of course, the, the, the vice president-elect Kamala Harris will be the tie-breaking vote. Uh, but it does mean that on so many issues, uh, Joe Biden will be able to go big, uh, certainly much bigger than he would have envisioned if a Republicans were still in control of the Senate. And just remarkable to have this happen uh, today, uh, to, to, to have 24 hours you know, after we saw these races in Georgia, to have... Um, to see what we are seeing, to see the divide well, in the Republican Party play out in this way is just remarkable. And to see what we are seeing right now as you were talking, those detonations on the steps of the Capitol as you were talking, smoke being cleared uh, as well. It, people didn't seem to scatter as, as the detonations uh, took off as there. We see some more of them as well, these flash bombs. Um, I don't know who we have down there. Is Martha Raddatz anywhere close? Uh, to that scene, Martha. Can you tell us, Rachel Scott? I, okay, Rachel Scott, you're down there. Tell, can you tell us what's happening there, Rachel? Police have finally taken back this section of the Capitol. If you can take a look just right behind, you can see them clearing out the final demonstrators and protesters that stormed the barricades, climbed over, pushed up, passed, and stormed inside of the Capitol building here. This entire area, George, was completely blocked off. I want to show you. You could see some of the gates and the barricades that were set up here. On the other side, they have all been torn down as these demonstrators and protesters charged up those steps and into the Capitol building. I talked to so many here today. They came from Florida. They came from Georgia. I was on a flight from Georgia after covering those runoff elections just yesterday. They said they wanted to stand by the president. They wanted to help him fight uh, an election that he overwhelmingly lost. And they said they would not accept the results until he said that he had lost this race. They